Hello everyone, Praise Good here, and welcome back to more Indivisible. Last time, we got into the factory proper, and we met Yuri Nomos. At this point, having met, one way or another, the entire cast of the original four who sealed Kala initially. I forgot the big bad's name. Anyway, right now, we're currently on the search for goblins who have stolen parts from Yuri Nomos. And that is what we're here to do, is to punish goblins. Listen, I'm allowed to punish goblins, despite the fact that I have on many occasions said I am a goblin. I like treasure. Anyway, slow, slow, slow. And we're probably going to kill it, actually. I should have thought this out better, shouldn't I? Oops. It appears to be of the same material, at least. Ha! I'm getting the hang of this. Ajna, you're not. Ajna, I hear a ringsel. All right. Bet it's on the right. Okay, I was gonna say, big bet that it's on the right. And guess what? I won that bet. Uh, you now owe me, you now owe me love and adoration for the next three seconds. Okay, we're good. Did I actually time out three seconds? No. Hold on. Why does that have a? Huh, it has an icon here, like we can go through here, but we can't. Either that's oversight, or something else. Oh god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I I had to stop myself thinking that I was going to say something bad, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. So I'm just going to say what I was going to say. Go suck eggs! Anyway, remember that thing I said we had to learn how to do? Do it here. Hi. How about you don't? How about you just take all this damage? Alright, you know what? I trust everybody else to be able to take on this one gremlin. What about this squishy thing? It's some sort of bladder, I think. Does it belong to Yuri Nomos? Only one way to find out. Well, the only way to find out is to take it back to him. So let's go take it back to him. Oh boy. Expertly done. No panic whatsoever. What are you talking about? Uh, Yuri Nomos is just straight back this way. Yes. I got lost in that, by the way. I got lost in that shape on the right. Don't ask how. Hi, Yuri Nomos. My speech module appears to be functioning normally now. Thank you again. Great! Do you want us to get you out of here? I appreciate the concern, but my legs no longer function. I require significant repairs. Oh? May I ask what you are doing in the factory attic? Well, we're trying to find the chakra gate so we can get to Sumeru and beat Kala. Do not fear. If Kala has awakened, I wish to help seal her once more. I volunteered to bind my soul to this vessel upon my deathbed for that very purpose. Oh, that's right. You sealed Kala with mom and dad. I see. You must be the baby we picked up as we descended Sumeru. Um, I guess so. Oh my, I've offended you. I do apologize. I have been stuck up here alone for a long time. Yes, and thank you. You should be able to access the chakra gate from below here, but do take care. Princess Mary has changed. She disassembled me when I objected to her plan. She cares more for the progress of machines than for the progress of her people. Her thirst for conquest knows no bounds. I'll be careful. Thanks, Yuri Nomos. Are you sure you can come with us? As long as my repairs are incomplete, I cannot move from this place. But I wish you well, child of Inda. The floor beneath you is weak. Might I suggest you try this technique, once used by Badra, to break through? Thanks. You're a good robot. Hey, you like new techniques? Would you like to learn them right now? Well, I hope you're ready for this one, because we're going down another round. Now we're in the factory proper. This place kind of sucks. Like, it's very straightforward, but it still kind of sucks. 
All right. But yeah, this place kind of sucks. This place does really suck just because, like, it's a lot of platforming challenges and, like, it, everything. Oh, platforming challenges. He's going to wimp out. Where am I going? No, well, that's why. Lava is everywhere. Oh. Hello? I see you. God, I don't know where I'm going, but I see you. Excuse me. I'm just going to... Did I really? Did they really give us two ways to go through here? They really gave us two ways to go through. Why is that area to the right available? I'm gonna go back. I have to backtrack now. Well, first I'm gonna take care of this because I'm gonna get mad. Go away. Okay, so that was a lot of damage done. That was a lot of damage done where we don't have to, dang it, where we don't have to worry about it. You know what's good, you know what's great is that this damage we're doing right now, the damage we're doing right now, or I guess the damage we're healing right now, that's only the tip of the iceberg. I think right now it's like a, I think it's like a 10%, about 10% of what, sorry, I can't think of do actually at the same time apparently. What we're healing is about 10% of the damage that would be dealt to us is instead given to us as healing. So, I think it does get better, but keep in mind, at this point, even though... Come on, let me out. Fine, let me out. And now I have to refresh. Dang it. Okay, we actually literally cannot go out. Fair enough. Um... But yeah, at this point, even though you've been kind of guided into a lot of ring cells, uh, th just playing through the game straight without collecting everything, you're kind of... It's kind of anticipated... Hold on. It's kind of anticipated that you will not... Uh, it's kind of anticipated that you'll get about three ring cells per trip through through a place. No, don't shoot that. We actually need that build up. Um, but yeah... Anyway, safe spot here. Oh boy. I say I say safe spot and yet. Anytime you want to stop, please. Okay, well hold on, we'll do it your way. With the with the vault. I hear another ring soul. But yeah, I think in traditional playthroughs, like they don't expect you to have I'm getting that. Dang it. They don't expect you to have all of the ring cells at this point. Or they don't expect you to have more than like three ring cells in like a standard playthrough unless you are actively searching for them. So the fact that we're at four upgrades via ring cells at this point is puts us at a better advantage. Anyway. Uh I think I actually want to leave this like this. Anyway, any of the switches you see here. Any of the switches you see here uh, along the walls that are red can be shot with the arrow, as you saw me do earlier, to change the way the conveyor belts function. Also, let me make sure I actually jump properly at walls. But yeah, this area is not so much hard to get through. It's just... It's not hard to get through. Really, it's just the fact that... It's just the fact that everything is uh, so... It's just that there's so many death traps in comparison to every place else we've been so far. Okay, maybe it's not 10% you heal back, but it's... I feel like that's a... 10% feels close. I guess it's more like 5% right now. I mean, we were literally healing 1 before, so... Anything better than 0 is healing you do for perfect guarding. Okay. I should have let... Dar uh, actually, I'm going to save up on Dar. Star save up stocks for now. Oh, you actually... Okay. That should do it. Stop. Get the other one. There you go. Yeah, this is kind of the balancing you do to start doing once you get to a point where you can overpower enemies is... If you're not hitting all enemies at once, you do have to... There's a wall here? There's a wall here. 
You do have to stop yourself. Oh, it's the way back. Good. I'm going to take advantage of this. Oh, where are you going? You do have to, like, if you do start targeting single target enemies and you take out one target, you do have to weigh out your options. And one, two, three. I don't know if that's going to be a KO, but it's going to be damn close. You do have to kind of stop your attack actions to make sure you do uh, take them out. Oh, I should back up. Alright, there we go. One more. And this should do it. Yes, this should do it. Okay. Dang it, I didn't want to fight you. But you do have to stop yourself while you're while you're like mid attack and make sure you I do make sure that you do set up for a you do that make sure you do set up for a counter attack of sort, dang it. Or not counter attack. Make sure you set up for the next strike. Dang it. Fine. You know, I'm just curious about... I just want this one guy, really. We'll just get the one guy for now. I will worry about the other guy later when his mate's dead. There we go. Fine, you can go full combo, Dar. I mean, you only got one stone to your name right now, but... Oh, you got two stones. Never mind. Again, I don't know why I store up so much... Why I'm storing up so much on Dar right now. I just... I've, I've, I have, like, this weird latent memory that the next... The next major boss fight you're going to is a rough one. And that Dar was my saving grace from that boss fight. There we go. I'm going through all this. Oh. A dead end? What kind of factory is this? What? Well, yeah! Uh, hey! What's going on? Hey! Good morning, sunshine. It's Princess Mary from the rally. Uh, let me go! What? No way. I was trying to power the Moloch with this stupid relic, but a better power source just broke in here all on her own. Thanks so much for that. I don't know what you're planning, but you can't keep me here! Oh, I can. You're gonna power the Moloch and reunite the world under my iron fist. See, my dad was a big dreamer, but he was smart too. He wanted to protect everyone, and he knew the best way to do that was for the Iron Kingdom to be in charge. How dare you! I mean, it's obvious. We have the best technology. All other countries are primitive in comparison. Of course we should rule! I'm only looking out for everybody and continuing dear old Dad's vision. Isn't that right, Dad? <sighs> right? You've got your dad in here somewhere? It was his dying wish. His brain powers the Moloch, even after death. So, he's like, more or less immortal. <laughs> I mean, aren't machines just the best? Using you as a battery, we can take this thing mobile even sooner than we hoped. Oh, I just can't thank you enough. Oh, can 
one pan. Good timing. Thanks for luring her here. You did a great job, seriously. That's right. It is I, Campan, super spy and master of espionage. Campan? No, you tricked me? I did. But we're friends, right? <laughs> we're friends, right? Campan? Um... I did tell you. It was rather obvious. I guess you all did tell me. But Kampan, I believed in you! Uh... Sorry? That's not good enough. When people say they're friends, they're supposed to help each other. I'm gonna smack you on the head. Um, Kampan, great job, but you can totally go now. You're making my battery mad. You're gonna get it too, Mary! Ha! It's useless to struggle. You can't possibly. Ugh! You're all jerks! You're all so selfish! I'm gonna smash this thing, and then I'm gonna smash you! Guards! We've got enough power. Raise the Moloch! Well, oh god, Yuri Novos? Not Yuri Novos. A shell, a, a shell of what once was. But yeah, we basically have to go through each of these fights here. Fights is a loose term, by the way, considering I can literally just, I can literally just send Tungar in. But we do have to go to each one of these vaults and disperse of the robots in in them. And that gets us access to what we have to do next. Wait, now. Why did I remember this fight being harder than it was? I literally am just taking them all out with Tungar by himself. Oop, wait, hold on. I think we can get over there. Yep, we can. Uh, oops. Maybe not. Maybe they didn't want us to do it that way. Okay, I'll come from the other side. That's, uh, yeah. Little awkward. Unfortunately, they'll give experience. Uh, where else can we go in here? Can we go anywhere up here? I guess not. Oh, the game stopped me for no reason. Weird. Anyway. Another thing here. I could speed this up a little bit by actually having Ajna or anybody else attack, but listen, if I have one character that can do it by himself, I'm going to do it with one character by themselves. Uh, this is not. This is nothing. Why is this here? All right. Anyway, I'm gonna regret this decision. No, I'm not. I I said I was gonna regret the decision, and then suddenly, okay, making sure I couldn't do anything with about that before. Well, trying to make sure I could. I had. Uh, agency in that move. But the, the Moloch, I presume. Can I stun you? I can do that. I should probably also, you know, hit it. By the way, note, note really quick that we're doing no damage to this thing. Just note that it's got a face guard. Well, hopefully that slows it down. It seems kind of dumb that the face guard would be the thing that would, you know. It's, it was. It does seem kind of dumb that the face guard is. The, oh god, I did it again. I'll get it next time. There. Well, now we can do damage to it. Oh, now it's actually doing damage to one person. Hey, look, we're doing damage to the Moloch, finally. Uh, Dar, sauce up. Huh. Can't deal damage to a robot. Okay, I saw, I saw the uh, visual cue for that one, by the way. A half a second too late, but I saw it. I need to get Rosmi close, just so she can do this. 
There we go. Lots of damage going out. And lots of damage now coming in. Okay, that was interesting. I thought it was going to be a multi-targeting attack when I did it. Can I have some more uh, ED? I'm kind of dumb. Thanks for the ED. I need this. Because I'm dumb. I guess this boss fight is not as bad as I remember it. Yeah, I remember this boss fight being harder for some reason. This is a lot of screen real estate to keep track of, by the way. Yeah, this is a lot of screen real estate to keep track of. And I guess you only get ED by guarding. Or ma best guarding. It's really hard to see who is attacking what. Well, it should almost be done. Cool, a heal. I need this. Thanks. Let's have Dar saw up for the next hit, because I feel like the next hit will probably be the last one. At least I would like it to be the last one. I managed to time lightning, by the way. Do some more of that, some more of this. Well, I think I'm doing enough da damage. Fireball. I took a fireball directly to the face and lived to tell the tale. Isn't that fun? That is super fast. I'm going to need you to break off some parts, old man. Slap? Okay, not enough. Uh, everybody just go in. There we go. That's what you get. You're next, Kampan. There's no time for that. The slime. Oh, I guess we got to get to the gate. The gate, you say, huh? Uh, where would that be? Yeah, this is now an escape sequence, so we're escaping. Oh, hey, the gate. Even though we're at the gate, we do have to still make a quick retreat out of here pretty fast. It's done. Now let us head for the seas. This place is brimming with slime. Let's just stay just a little while. Oh, I want to smack that cump on so bad. But we've got to go. No. Goodbye, my paradise. Quick, we can escape using the sewers. Well, thanks, game, for that. And actually, we'll make our escape next time. We're not we're not on timer right now. Anyway, everyone, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Indivisible. And come back next time. We will make our escape through the sewers. I'll see you folks then. Take care.